I'm here in rural Iron County, Utah, in a little city called Enoch, and I happened upon this piece of property right here. This property is the Parkland Housing Development, or at least it would have been. They began to build this up in 2007, and it wasn't just going to be any residential development. This was going to be a state-of-the-art housing project. The construction company sank millions of dollars into sidewalks, roadways, as you can see here, dividing out the properties, laying out fiber optic cables. It was going to be completely modern for the time. If you look closely through the tall grasses here, you can still see one of these sidewalks. Actually, this entire residential development is still lined with these sidewalks here. And then you can see the curb right here. They managed to sell over half of the lots by about 2008. But the construction project encountered two significant hurdles. The first one, of course, if you're familiar with recent U.S. history, was the recession of 2008. Property values went down significantly, and lots which were valued as high as $90,000 were only going for about $30,000. But even with low property values, you would think some people would still be able to afford it. Which leads us into our most significant detriment to the development of this residential neighborhood, which was the opening of a large fissure in the ground. This is the fissure that opened up. All of this was flat when the urban development was first started. And practically overnight in 2008, this fissure opened up and ruined the chances of ever developing this land. Now, fissures occur when a place's water table goes down significantly. Enoch is kind of a unique city in that it's almost the perfect blend of urban and rural. The rural sector of the city is expanding just as quickly as the urban center. This takes up a lot of water, and so the water table is significantly lower than it was even 20, 30 years ago. This sort of weakens the earth and allows for giant fissures to open up and make the ground completely unstable and unbuildable. Now, one landowner was able to get a house built before these fissures opened up. This is the foundation for it right here. Unfortunately, for several months, he couldn't get an occupancy permit, and he had no idea why until one day he looked at a news website and saw the news about the fissures. Nobody had told him that these fissures existed and that they were preventing sewer lines and water lines from being put in, which was why he couldn't get an occupancy permit for the home. This home remained standing until as late as 2017, when it was bought out by the Enoch Fire Department and used for training purposes, ultimately being burned to the ground at the end. You can get a much better view of the sidewalks right here. Like I said, this was going to be state of the art and this road was paved all that time ago and now it's just covered with dirt and it's starting to sink so this ground is very clearly unstable i'm going to post a screenshot of street view of what the street looked like when it was first put in here and then contrast that with what i just showed you the road of condition now and if you want to get a really good idea of how big this development was going to be there were going to be hundreds of homes here. And like I said, they were all going to be state of the art. For this entire video, I've been walking the streets of this residential development. And I still have this much left to walk. Not only that, but this is just the largest piece of the urban development project that still exists today. It went even beyond that road. Today, there are still some people who own property out here. Nature has reclaimed this old urban development. Until next time, fellow explorers.